If your audio is delayed or crackling, it could be down to the buffer size setting. But what does that mean? When your software tells your computer what sounds to make, the computer might not be able to process the information in time, poor guy. And the amount of time measured in samples that you give your computer to think is known as the buffer size. A higher buffer size will reduce the workload on the computer, but in turn add a delay between pressing play or the singer singing into the mic and you hearing the actual audio. Higher buffer sizes are good if you have a heavy project and want to avoid the computer crackling, popping, or crashing during playback. Lower buffer sizes will allow you to monitor in real time and is useful for recording as it is not usually easy to record with a noticeable delay, but will put a higher strain on your computer's processors. Now that's a catch-22 if I ever saw one. So buffer sizes go as low as you can without making the computer unstable when recording, and if you're just listening back, a higher setting could be a safer option once the project gets bigger. Press follow, mate.